What's going on, Peta Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we are back again with another haircut tutorial. Today, I got my boy Tyler here, and I'm gonna be going over a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do a low skin fade with a scissor trim on top. Before we start, I wanna announce we will be doing a giveaway, giving away a little barber pack for anybody that comments their IG handle down below. All you gotta do is make sure that you're following our TikTok, our three Instagram pages. We have the Peta Culture, my brother Adrian, and then mine. Make sure you're following all of those, comment your IG handle down below, and on the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and choose a winner. So with that being said, we can jump right into this tutorial. Shit, did I even say what I was gonna give away? No, but it doesn't matter. No? Well, just in case, we're gonna be giving away a little barber pack. We'll throw in a t-shirt and some of our barber products and tools that we have on our website. So now let's just jump right into this tutorial. So to start, we're gonna go ahead and trim the top of his hair. So to determine the length that I will be trimming and the angle that I want, since he does kind of have a comb over on top, I'm gonna leave the front longer, a little longer than the back. So I'm gonna create my profile section down the middle and then set in our guide. The profile section is always about like two fingers in width. I'm gonna pull out my first section. By the way, I am using our very own Beta Culture shears. They will be dropping here very soon. And then you're just moving up along that line. You see how we're trying to have our angle going like that. I'm increasing the length as we reach the front of his forehead. When we get to the front, there's very little that we gotta cut. And now this side is the side that's gonna come over this way. So I'm gonna just cut my line straight out. And then over here, it's gonna round off. That way it could blend into our fade. And all I'm doing is grabbing a little bit of that section that we cut. That way we have something to reference off. You see our guide was right there. We're gonna trim all this away. Now we're gonna match this to that profile section. Now we could pull out our line kind of in the direction to imitate the shape of his head. We're gonna pull out this way instead of straight up. There's our guy right there and we're gonna cut that off. And now that we're done with the top, we're gonna go ahead and start setting up our guidelines for his fade. And since it is a low fade, what I'm gonna do is just make sure it curves towards the front as well as to, towards the back. So now we finished setting up our two guidelines that you see right here. We're gonna start by fading out that top guideline and then work our way down to that first one at the bottom. For that top one, it's gonna take two guards starting first with our half clip lever positioned at 3 4 It's just a position right in between the lever being halfway and fully open. 
That's your top line right here, and that's what we're gonna blend out. And then you can also take note, guys. You see how I went further with our first initial guideline right here? I'm not blending this part out. That way I have a line of reference when it comes to connecting the other side. So I'm just blending up to right about a half inch right before. And now, like I said, it's gonna take two guards. I'm gonna throw on that one guard, still leaving that lever on that three fourth spot and continue blending. And when you're blending guys, all you're doing is moving the clipper like just right over that line. You're not going too far in separation, just right over that line till it blends out. And now we're gonna focus on taking out this last line right here. For that one, it's gonna take about four lever positions to blend out, starting with it closed, and then gradually open it as you move up into that blend and that line is completely blended out. And I'm gonna only work on small sections at a time since it does take more lever positions to blend out. So I'll just focus on here, then when I'm done here, I'll move forward to behind the ear and then behind his head. Yeah, so I thought I was gonna take four lever positions, but since his hair is thin, it only took me three. Closed, halfway, and fully open. And from here, just take out the rest of the bottom of the hair. And a good little tip, as soon as you reach the top, just kind of flare out a little bit. That way it creates a little faint line that'll serve you as another guideline, show you how high to come up with your electric shaver. Now at this point, you can always just take a step back and determine if you need to do any touch-up work. Right here, I kind of noticed some little dark areas towards the back, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my half clip and touch those up. And I'm gonna just position the lever at about three foot. All right, guys, so now that we're done fading on this side, we're gonna repeat the exact same steps on the opposite side. So now that we're done with the fading and the lining up and the trim on top, I'm gonna go ahead and just show y'all how I style the top. So first I'm gonna just redampen his hair. I'm gonna go ahead and use our very own Fader Culture Matte Clay. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab it like a good little amount. Make sure you rub it really well into your hands. And I like to apply it when the hair is damp, just so that when we blow dry, the clay can really mold into his hair. You'll be able to style his hair like a lot better as opposed to when you just apply it dry.
All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this haircut tutorial. If y'all were able to learn something from it, let me know down in the comments. Make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel. And also, to enter that giveaway, don't forget to follow us on our three Instagram pages and our TikTok, and we'll be announcing on the next video the winner. I'm going to leave all the stuff down in the description too as well, so I can just go ahead and click on the link for our Instagram handles and follow along that way. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is Faded Culture. My name is Sergio Barron, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Peace.